have made some discussion or conversation on this issue. The question of the civil oversight responsibility to defend and the procedure that you know Nigeria has established over the years. Um, for me, there's nothing really wrong with the procedure. It is the operator of that procedure. The kind of human beings that I've seen in corridor of powers over the years is just baffling. In fact, sometimes I used to think that maybe this is hell, you know, and I, this is hell. You know, we talk about heaven or hell, and mm -hmm. and <clears throat> God has put all of us here <clears throat> in hell and give us those kind of leaders to to grind us. That sometimes when I think deeply, I say, I mean, why, why is this happening? Because it doesn't happen in other climes, you know, where the procedure is laid down uh, based on the constitution that you are we are using. Uh, we can't just change the constitution because some individuals that are there are just uh, like uh, devils incarnate, you know. So how do you change the constitution and change the process and the procedure of purchasing arms? The Navy, because I don't, I don't want to really, you know, I, I was, uh, I was deputy director in PMED. Those people in the Navy, when they hear what I said, uh, when I say PMED, they understand. Basically, PMED is, you know, project implementation, monitoring, and everything. So, I, I was exposed to fires. If you want to purchase a warship, helicopter gunships, um, you want to build hospitals, whatever the Navy wants to do. So, we are the one that, you know, my office then, my job is to ensure that due diligence are followed and things are done properly. And I step on so many toes because I ran into files where a lot of contracts has been awarded for the Navy and they earned the money. <coughs> and, I, I, and I said, no, do we have to go through this, make sure we recover the money. And I remember I recovered more than two point something billion, you know, within a span of four months. And eventually I was uh, removed from that office because I was too difficult, you know. So, I mean, it's not something we should be saying on the air, yeah, yeah. but these are things they can verify, you know. So, the, the challenge is that <clears throat> when the Navy say, okay, they're requesting for the particular worship, mm. that's what we can do. The Navy will make rec requisition. It goes to budget defense. Chief of Accounts and Budget in Nigeria will go there to defend it. And some experts will go with them. And they will, when they accept, that is the end. Mm. How the contract is awarded, we don't know. It's not our business. We don't go for, we don't go to, you know, uh, where they're doing the contract. Sometimes they will just tell us that, okay, the ship is ready. We should go to uh, Singapore. We should go to China. Then we, we prepare people to go there for training. They will train on those ships. And uh, sometimes you will be surprised that the, the ship, as we are selling the ship from China, when we get to South Africa, it will break down there. Ooh. The new ship will break down mm. in South Africa. And I've Ooh. had cases, to, I mean, to send signals and send people to South Africa to go and repair ships that are just coming in. It, it, it is horrible. Mm. It's horrible. Because once the money is given to the politician, they go and get like a Kumbo ship or maybe mm. one very inferior ship that will rust away within two years. It will rot away at sea. It, the, the, the metal they use as substandard, the thickness, everything, the construction is just a wax. They just share the money. Mm. 